Hi, this is Marco. In this video, I will show you the game between Maria Muzichuk and Natalia Pogonina. This is the game from FIDE, Women's World Chess Championship, that was played in Sochi in 2015. This game decided the champion. The game is full of maneuvers and very long. Therefore, I will not be explaining every move, but only the critical points of the game. Are you ready? Maria Muzicuk had white pieces, and she started with e4. Natalia Pogonina played e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, Spanish opening, a6, bishop to a4, knight to f6, Maria castled kingside, b5, bishop to b3, bishop to e7, rook to e1, d6, c3, and Natalia castled kingside too, h3, knight to b8, d4, knight from b to d7, a4, bishop to b7, knight from b to d2, c5. This is the mine line of the Brea variation. Two most played moves in this position are bishop to c2 and d5. Maria played d5, closing the center. c4, bishop to c2, knight to c5, knight to f1, rook to e8, knight to g3, g6, bishop to e3, queen to c7, knight to d2, bishop to f8, queen to e2, knight from f to d7. This position has been seen many times before. In this position, these moves have been seen. Rook to a3, a takes on b5, and a5. Maria played f3, a novelty. Knight to b6, a5. After this move, there was nothing happening on the queen side. That's it. Knight from b to d7. Knight to h1. Bishop to e7. G4. With a queen side closed, Maria can concentrate fully on the king side play and later on all out attack on the king side. Queen to d8. Queen to f2. Bishop to h4. Knight to g3. Rook to c8. King to g2. Knight to f8. Rook to f1. Bishop to g5. Did you notice that all the pieces are still on the board? Interesting, isn't it? f4. Pawn takes pawn on f4. First capture in the game at move 28. Some games are finished at move 28. Bishop takes pawn. Rook to c7. Bishop takes bishop. Queen takes bishop. Knight to f3 attacking the queen. Queen to e7. Knight to d4. Queen to e5. h4. Interesting. Not afraid of pushing the pawns in front of her king. h6. Queen to d2. Bishop to c8. Knight to c6 attacking the queen. Queen to g7. Queen to f4. Rook to d7. Rook to f2. Bishop to b7. Knight to d4. Rook to e5. Knight to f3 attacking the rook. Rook to e8. White to move. Perhaps rook from a 
to have one comes to mind. Maria played G5, not afraid of taking a risk. H5, knight to D4, queen to E5, queen to D2, not exchanging the queens. Rook to C7, rook from A to F1, rook from E to E7, rook to F6, rook from E to D7, rook from 6 to F4, B4, hmm, finally something moved on the queen side, but it is not very significant, is it? Knight to F3, attacking the queen, queen to G7, C takes on B4. Knight to d3. White to move. I guess first move that comes to mind is bishop takes knight. And after pawn takes then knight to e1. Intending knight takes pawn. On d3. This looks, this looks good for white too. But Maria had a different idea. She played rook to f6, knight to h7, and the rook is trapped. Where is the rook going? How to continue? Is white in trouble? What would you do? Perhaps if it was me, I would capture the knight. I wouldn't know any better than that. Maria played a knight to d4. Knight takes rook. Pawn takes knight. Is black better? No, black is not better. Black's position is cramped. And black rooks are not very powerful in a closed game. Queen to f8, what else? Bishop to a4, attacking the rook. Now rook to d8 comes to mind. Natalia played the knight to e5, decided not to save the rook. Bishop takes rook, rook takes bishop, knight to f3, knight to g4. There were many critical positions of the game. But let's call this one the most critical position of the game for the purpose of our exercise. Why to move? What would you do? Please pause the video and find the best move for white. What did you find? I guess queen to g5 looks like an interesting move, but then black would respond with queen to h6. Still looks good for white. Maria played an extraordinary move that required some calculations because if this move didn't work she would lose the game. The move is knight takes on h5. Will this work? Let's have a look. Pawn takes knight and black says I'll take the knight and you prove that this is correct sacrifice. Queen to g5, check. King to h8. Queen takes pawn, check. But knight to h6 and black save the knight. Why to move? Maria saw further. King to h2 was played. Queen to g8. White played a move and black resigned. The move is rook to 
Brooke to G1. Natalia resigned. In view of this continuation. Queen to F8. Then the Rook to G7. Threatening checkmate. The only way would be to capture the Rook. And then Pawn takes Queen check. King takes Pawn and now Queen to G5 check. King to H7. And after King to G3. Black can't move. Can't make a good move. Well, let's play a few more moves. This bishop to c8. But then queen to f6. Threatening knight to g5. I think we can stop here. There was no way out for black. That is why Natalia resigned in this position. What a game. What do you think of this game? Did you find the killer move? And did you find the follow up? Congratulations to Maria Mozichuk for winning the championship and the title. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.